Okay, this is a guided journey through the respiratory system. Find a comfortable seat or place on the ground. You can be seated or lying down. Find your position and close your eyes. Become aware of your mental activity. Become aware of the mind talk and its movements between thoughts, images, sensations, and feelings. Draw your attention to your breathing. Are you breathing with your diaphragm, chest muscles, or both? Is there a smooth rhythm to your breathing? Notice, is it shallow or deep? How do the rest of your muscles feel? Tense or relaxed? Just take notice as you breathe. Bring your attention to the tip of your nose. Feel the air going into and out of your nostrils. Does the air go through each nostril evenly? Probably does not. Ancient wisdom states that breathing asymmetrically through either the left or right nostril activates different parts of the brain and accesses different levels of consciousness. If this is true, it represents another opportunity for self-regulation. For the purpose of this exercise, focus on the tip of your nose and become aware of the temperature of the incoming and outgoing air. Imagine yourself as a small particle of air about to take an inward journey. Venture through the nose, are warmed by the moist and well vasculated nasal tissues, and join the flow of air shaped by the sides of the inner nose. The nasal turbinates. The mucus of the nose touches and briefly sticks to you as it gently removes any undesirable contaminants. You move through the upper nose and back down the throat for a sharp vertical drop through the throat, larynx, and trachea. Looking around, you can see the outside world through the opened mouth, the cartilage rings of the trachea, the thyroid gland pushing down upon the trachea, the fine little hairs, the cilia beating in rhythm and reminding you of the gentle and synchronous movements of a wheat field on a windy day.
When you reach the first branch of the trachea, you must make a decision to go right or left into either of the two main bronchi. You feel the suction pulling you past the glistening moist lining of the breathing tree into smaller and smaller branches. With each branching, the pull becomes stronger. Finally, you are released into the balloon-like opening of the alveoli. You have a few moments to look around, and then you must offer your oxygen to the red blood cells that are awaiting you ready to offer you the carbon dioxide that is needed by the plants. This transfer of nutrients connects inner and outer worlds. Feel this union and sharing of the food of life. Soon it is time to leave and you feel the pressure pushing you back up the canals of the trachea. With increasing force, you begin your journey up the trachea through the vibrating muscles of the larynx, which, if not for you, could not make their sounds. Now, one final look through the open mouth from the back of the throat, up through the nose, warmed by the membranes, through the tip of the nose, and into the outer world. Here you meet and mix with your fellow particles of air and continue your task as carrier of the world's energy. For a few moments, experience the sacredness of the act of breathing. Turn your focus to your mind. Is it still? Notice what is the quality of your breathing. Is it soft, rhythmic, and gentle? Just begin to observe your breathing. Are you breathing from your chest muscles or your diaphragm? If your mind is quiet, your breathing and body must also be quiet. Remain quiet and relaxed for several minutes. Enjoy the peace, comfort and stillness that comes from just being a witness of the breath.
Allow the breathing, the prana, the life force, heal your complete body, mind, and whole respiratory system. May you be happy. May you be whole. May you be complete. And so it is. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste.